Well, hello, and I don't know if you can hear my background, but this is me starting my July hair vlog, and it is the 4th of July. I actually just wrapped up um, a video and decided that while I looked like a person, I might as well get this vlog started. Um, let's see, it's been about 10 days since we got this silk press. Uh, we're still going. Um, I don't know. I'm going out of town again this weekend. Nothing crazy. I'm just going to see some friends. But I don't think I want to wash it before. I guess I'll wash it after. We definitely are going to lay out by the pool. So I don't think Fred is going to maintain staying straight. Like, I'm not even going to try at this point. <laughs> um, but let me tell you, I have really, I just really like the way my hair looks and I look right now. Um, Y'all, I think I'm finally getting the hang of my air wrap and how to curl my hair um i just i don't know y'all i i'm i don't know what i'm gonna do i know we'll see how i feel at the end of the month so i think i told y'all maybe i didn't my brand of choice for the month will be audra beauty so whenever i do do that wash day they will definitely be my wash day products but um i think i mentioned in my last vlog i do have some content that I need to film for another brand. So I'm gonna have to figure that out. But I really do wanna stick to using the same brand. Because let me tell you, that is not something I have ever done. In my natural hair journey, before I started creating content, even though it's been almost five years since I started my channel, like, no, I have never been a person that just uses one brand. So this is going to be fun. Of course, Adwa is a brand that I love. Um, the products work really well for my hair. So I just wanted to start there. And also, I just wanted to say really quick, I know I've been hard on my hair. I am my biggest critic and I share my thoughts out loud. Um, and I, I was just like, you know, I wish I was retaining more length than I am. But at the same time, I have to be honest with myself, right? Like, girl, you bleach your hair. That is so counterproductive. And I, listen, I'm not the laziest of naturals, but I'm definitely not like, oh my gosh, I have to do this every day. I have to maintain my hair every day. Like, I don't let my hair control my life to that extent. Now, y'all know I love Fred. I love Fred down, okay? I make sure he clean and he healthy for the most part, but you know, um... And I, I understand that me coloring my hair probably has a lot to do why I'm not seeing a lot of length retention. But the hair is growing, okay? And I also am just very happy that Fred ain't creep, 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 creeping up to my ears, okay? So a win is a win. A win is a win. He's thick. He's luscious. The color is fading just a little bit, but not like it has in the past. Um, I actually think this is the perfect color for the summer. It's actually like not too bad off from, it was a little bit darker and this blonde has always kind of peeked through. But um, yeah, so as long as the color and the bleach ain't eat, eat, eating at the ends too, too bad. And you know, like I'm trying to stay ahead of it. I'm, I'm pretty satisfied. Would I like to see my hair come down to here? Absolutely, I would. I don't know. Like the back is getting there. Anyways, um, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and start this month's vlog. Uh, Y'all, it's late. I gotta get my life together. <laughs> it's Thursday, I'm acting like it's a Friday night. I'll see y'all real soon with an update. Probably when I come back. Oh my goodness, y'all. I am not doing the best job during this July hair vlog, but I washed my hair using Audra Beauty, of course, uh, where I reverted back from my silk press. And so this is day five of my wash and go. I didn't do anything to it yesterday. Y'all know it's 95 degrees. Well, it's 95 degrees in North Carolina almost every day. And I had a pool day yesterday. And so prior to that pool day, I did just use the Miche Refresher Spray. Honestly, I'm trying to get rid of it. But my hair felt really good 
applying this before going to the pool and this is what I look like afterwards it's just it's really dry and honestly I just need to wash it um in case you don't know when my hair gets dry like this I don't care to restyle it I would rather just do a clean slate and completely rehydrate and moisturize and deep condition my hair so that's exactly what I'm about to do so of course we are using Audua products and I still have my products in here from the last wash day. I've got to do better with that. Um, sorry about this lighting. Um, so I used the clarifying, I used the blue tansy basically to revert my hair. So this week I'm gonna use the bowel mint for today's wash day. Um, and I'm just gonna do another wash and go. I want to try out Bread's mousse. So I think I'm going to do Uncle Funky's Daughter as a curl stimulator. I mean, as the curl stimulator, as the base gel, excuse me. And then try the mousse on top of it and then their gel on top of that. I typically don't do three product wash and goes, but I'm feeling a little festive. I want to see how long it lasts. I plan on washing my hair again by the end of the week. Today is Monday. So just wanted to check in show you guys what i was looking like because i apologize my hair looks so different on camera than it looks in real life but maybe that is how it looks in real life hmm. anyways i'll check back in soon okay my hair is done as far as what i'm gonna do to it tonight uh i decided to diffuse my hair i was trying a new process trying to you know do it low and slow and it was just a little too slow for me so i have officially given up and i don't feel like sitting underneath the dryer so hopefully it'll be completely dry before i go to bed if not i will sit underneath the hooded dryer but i'm about to do something that i never do because i think it's time i think i just need to go ahead and just cut this y'all know i don't i don't like to do anything like as far as cutting my hair at home but I'm going to have to do it because it's just, it's in my eyes. It's obviously a looser. It's obviously a little damaged. I did notice around my ears, typically where I do get heat damage a little more easy. I see some heat damage and I'm not even bothered by it at this point. Um, because 90% of my hair looks really good. The curls are great. The kitchen is always tight. Like, it is what it is. I'm definitely in a rebuilding, refocusing situation. Ooh. But um, I'm going to just do what needs to be done. And I'm going to cut this. And maybe I'll show you all my hair tomorrow. But I really like it so far. Okay, we're back. It's the next day. This is my wash and go fully dried. I went to bed with wet hair last night. It was damp throughout most of the day. But here we are. Mm -hmm tuesday evening and let's talk about my hair so this always frizzy always like cotton no matter what technique i use it's just my hair um here we definitely have a little heat damage we're gonna nuke that we're gonna do probably k18 for my next wash day and then probably an olaplex treatment zero and three with the next wash day they do different things. Um, so I am going to incorporate that. My next wash day won't be with Audra products, but this one was. I used the Bowel Mint collection. And yeah. But like I said yesterday, like 90% of my curls and coils are still intact. It's really just the face framing that looks a little looser. And of course, that's where the bleach predominantly was. And this up top has always been frizzy uh that's where my relaxer used to burn for years so that's a quick little update about my hair i will check in if i notice anything crazy or if something comes to mind i gotta tell you something i could do I could be running or I'm chasing you, but I won't. Cause I got better, better things to do. I'd have spent my precious time chasing somebody who loves me too. If I 
got a dollar for Every time you slam the door I would be the richest girl alive, alive, alive If you hadn't run away Every time I asked you stay You would sleep right next to me Beginning, I just didn't know that you're an enemy. I held too close. Now I know, cause you did everything to prove me wrong. You were not the guy I thought. Now I'm beating you at your own. I apologize for the lighting, it's off, but um, this is like day five or six of that wash and go. I haven't been doing anything to my hair. I have noticed that when I don't put a bonnet on my head, like my wash and go turns up like fine, like it's lasting longer. With me not smushing it into a bonnet, I like, I like this. And today I just took some Audra Melon Berry, put it on my hands and like, just made sure that I got the ends a little more moisturized. I'm not gonna wash my hair today. I'm definitely gonna wash it tomorrow. Today is July 22nd. Um, another thing that I've been thinking about is maybe using Ajua like shampoos and conditioners for every wash day up until September. Like maybe I just need to do three months because I don't really know what I'm gonna be able to tell about my hair from just using them in july because it's only going to be like two wash days you know what i mean so i might just continue it and see how my hair looks and like if my scalp is okay um up until i'm ready to color my hair in september or october so i think that's what i'm gonna do um but yeah this wash and go combination was so good i'm really surprised by it not really surprised it's just um because i didn't really wash my hair like but anyways um fred is looking pretty good this is pretty much what my hair looks like i still have these like loose pieces right here and right here but um i still haven't done that to leah washi <laughs> content yet but i'm gonna do it tomorrow it's due by wednesday tomorrow's tuesday so i have to do that but i think i also want to do like a k18 wash day like a whole maintenance thing just to see if i do notice any difference within my curl pattern so i've been kind of lazy this month but i feel like lazy is what fred needed he he just looks so thick and like so healthy and um as long as i'm keeping my ends moisturized i'm pretty satisfied so that is just a quick little update if i when i wash my hair tomorrow i'll give you guys an update on those products because like i said i haven't used them in a really long time but see y'all soon good people it's monday july 29th and i didn't even show y'all like what my hair looks like um after the apple after the talia wajid apple and aloe situation i think i took my hair down i really don't remember when i took my hair down this is crazy but either way this is day whatever of the braid out uh my scalp was dry and flaky the next day and i'll be honest i did use the shampoo but i only shampooed once because i distinctly remember like not being in the mood to wash my hair I just needed to get the content done it, it's like that sometimes um but I am actually setting up to do a wash day today and I just wanted to show y'all my hair my hair is kind of dry um I did add some melon berry on my ends probably like day two but the definition stayed really well so the products that I was um the products that I was impressed by was the Curl So So Soft Conditioner. Even though it's just a regular conditioner, I really could finger detangle my hair like with no issue. So I could see myself either like using this as a pre-poo 
or as like a detangler like conditioner um before i deep condition like this was good um and i also i liked the curl elixir i didn't use a leave-in or anything i just used this for my braid out and for me not to have rebraided my hair whatsoever the definition kind of lasted um yeah so like i'm really not mad at these um I definitely i'm trying to work up the nerve to post every day in august i'm gonna call it what did i say i was gonna call it vlogist that's cute right um and so i definitely i think i want to do a video talking about like affordable products that you could go out and purchase at like target and things like that and these two definitely would be on that list like i was very 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 impressed so leave it in the comments if you would like to see a video like that and also send me some encouragement for this vlogging situation but um don't want to talk much longer can't believe the month is already done can't believe i've only technically done two wash days this month which is another reason why i'm extending it and also i'm not using audra beauty this wash day either so my plan was kind of a fail but like that's just how it goes as a content creator as well as like making sure that i'm giving my hair what it needs and right now i just kind of feel like it needs like some it needs some some tlc so um this video will be going up soon i'm using everything from k18 so stay tuned for that video or you've already seen the video y'all seen me use k18 plenty of times at this point if you haven't just search for them but um yeah let me get started because your girl has things to do today and i will wrap this month long video up on the last day of the month see y'all <laughs> real quick little check-in so this is my hair after the k18 wash day and let's be real about some things the front of my hair is like frizzy i won't say that the curl pattern is completely gone but the curls are definitely looser and it's just like this section right here because as soon as you go over here like fred is still very much fretting for the most part um great little bounce back all that um i would say that you could get this type of damage from not only heat and color but also just the tension that you put on your hair from wearing like slick back buns or high puffs and even from like like just um smoothing your hair down like that constant brushing and things like that so one i am completely aware of the change in my hair over time due to how i prefer to wear my hair also i feel like it comes with age as well like your hair changes um and most recently, you know, I've been taking my iron and all my vitamins and things like that. And I feel like my hair is very healthy now. Um, you know, before or like even when I came back um, from getting my hair sip hair, my hair still pressed. I wasn't completely in love with my hair. But these last couple of weeks seeing it in a braid out seeing it in that wash and go um and how well my wash days have been going i fell back in love with my hair like i was <laughs> we have a lot like i was in my feelings for a little bit but um i think a couple more like maintenance wash days like this and i feel like fred will be at his peak i mean it's been almost nine months since i got color we are working on being the best hair we can be so i can re-damage it with more color but all in all i feel like my hair is pretty healthy like it's healthy enough for me to love it and for me to like it and for me to manage it so i just wanted to pop in with that quick little psa and show y'all what the k18 did for your girl and also i think we had talked about me having some heat damage right and look the curls they're coming back they were a little more straight 
um before i did the k18 like i'm not gonna lie i probably should have shown that to you but this is just they're sensitive areas and it's okay it's fine my hair is still healthy see y'all in a couple days for real now you guys we're clearly well maybe it's not clear but we are definitely into august and i don't know if i ended this hair blog so um i'm pretty sure i told y'all that i tried to correct my it wasn't terrible but i just tried to correct my failed perm rod set using Andrew beauty using crazy sexy curl from the do it's been okay obviously i still didn't like the way that it looked because my hair still had some curl memory like the product still had holes so me going on top of it with mousse just didn't really reconfigure like i wanted it to i should have just washed my hair but now i have a cracked i have a cracked nail and so it's tugging at my hair so i'm not washing my hair until i get my nails done so that's where we are today is august 3rd i am not going to do a hair vlog for august but i am going to continue using Ajua beauty for most of my wash days shampoo conditioner not necessarily always for stylers and i will be incorporating like olaplex and k18 wash days um in between for my scalp and for my hair but uh, my ends still feel really good i feel like a month post trim my hair feels really good i may straighten my hair in august so definitely like just make sure you're subscribed subscribed make sure you're subscribed definitely check back in i'm going to be uploading a lot this month so you don't have to watch everything that's never how i feel but definitely like check in watch videos before you ask questions and i'll see you guys really soon take care bye